President Uhuru Kenyatta has eased the restrictions put in place in March so as to contain the spread of the coronavirus. My responsibility. While speaking in State House Nairobi during his Labor Day speech, the head of state lifted the order on the cessation of movement into and out of the five counties of Nairobi, Nakuru, Kiambu, Kajiado, Machakos that was imposed on March 26th. It is directed that the cessation of movement into and out of the zoned areas be and is hereby lifted. Two, that the hours of curfew in the zoned area are revised to commence at 10 p.m. and end at 4 p.m. with effect from midnight on this day of May 2021. The head of state also announced that restaurants and eateries will reopen with strict adherence to COVID-19 protocols issued by the health ministry. These entities have been ordered to operate until 7 p.m. Restaurants are indeed encouraged to utilize outdoor spaces to maximize on physical and social distancing. That in-person and congregational worship shall resume in strict fidelity to the guidelines issued by the Interfaith Council and the Ministry of Health. However, the attending congregation is still capped to one-third of the capacity of the place of worship. Parents can also have a sigh of relief after the president directed that all educational institutions will be reopened according to the calendar issued by the Ministry of Education. The intent of government to make life difficult or unbearable for any of our citizens. Finally, as we prepare for the reopening of schools, let me emphasize again that our staying power in the fight against this pandemic is our greatest arsenal. The prohibition against political gatherings is extended until otherwise directed. The president further directed that health facility administrators limit hospital visitations to one person per patient daily. The president, however, warned that restrictions could be reintroduced if Kenyans float the said COVID-19 protocols. Nobody enjoys the situation that we are in. But if, and I repeat again, if we are not able because of our selfishness, individually to maintain a situation where we are able to protect both life and economy, then like I said, we have no choice but to protect that which we are fundamentally bound to protect under the Constitution, and that is life. You also say that the restrictions could be de-escalated if Kenyans do their part to curb the spread of the virus. The president noted that when he announced the lockdown in March, Nairobi had a caseload of 56,000, but it has since reduced to 15,000 by the end of April. This represents a decrease of 74%. Angela Cherur, K24, Weekend Edition.